Hi again, welcome to ingvid.com. I'm Adam, nice to see you again. Today I want to talk about a topic that is a little bit unusual. Everybody thinks that English is all about vocabulary or grammar or punctuation, things like that. There's little things too that you need to worry about and people often ask me about these things in particular and so on, etc. Dot, 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 three dots, sometimes four, I'll explain. Blah, 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 and blah, okay? Not everyday stuff. I mean, every day you're going to see it all the time, but this is not something that ESL teachers will teach you. It's not something that you will really learn in books. So here it is. I'm going to explain it to you, okay? First, and so on. First of all, notice I put a comma before it. Why? Because this will always come at the end of a sentence or after a list of some sort, okay? When we put and so on, we mean and we continue with the same examples, right? So you ask me, what kind of foods do I like? Well, I like pizza, I like hamburgers, I like fish and chips, you know, and so on. What does that and so on mean? Does that mean that I like egg white only omelets with like asparagus and broccoli? No. Why? Because I listed hamburger, junk food, pizza, junk food. Fish and chips, junk food. So when I say and so on means and more examples like the ones I just said, right? So it's very important to remember. I, many of my students, they just throw and so on all the time. It's talking, 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 and so on. And so on what? I don't understand, right? So you have to be careful. This has a very specific use. You're continuing the same list or the same idea. Next, etc. Usually you will see it like this, ETC. Now, how to pronounce? This is the actual word when you open it up, etc. Now, some native speakers will say et cetera, etc. Most will say ek se tra. That's what it sounds like when most native speakers say it, etc. Correct? Etc. But both are acceptable. Now, what does etc. mean? It means and so on. It means the exact same thing as and so on. You're again, you're continuing the list that was started before, right? Now, people often ask, how do I use it in writing? Usually, you can, if it becomes at the end of a sentence, you put the period, that's it. But if it comes in the middle of the sentence, so I like pizza, I like hamburgers, uh, fish and chips, etc., but I also like, etc. <laughs> there you go. So I'm writing whatever I write, whatever I write, etc. period, comma, but I also like other things, right? So it's a little bit confusing. You got period and a comma. The period goes for the shortened, the comma goes for the sentence, okay? Not that important, but if you want to write it correctly, that's how you do it. Next, we have three dots. These are called ellipses. You don't necessarily need to know this word ellipses, but just understand that it's referring to this. What is three dots means? And so on. Same idea, right? But this is usually you see this in writing. Instead of writing three words, you just put three dots because it's easier. People understand it. But also remember sometimes it's used just as a pause, okay? So person A says, well, I think, you ask, what do you think about uh, climate change? For example, well, thinking, 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 dot, 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 I think that, etc. Now, and so on means, and so on means the, the idea is going to continue, okay? I'm about to give you my opinion, right? This is in writing. Some people will actually say dot, 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 but they're trying to be dramatic or cool. If you saw the movie Train Spotting, you heard it there, dot, dot, dot. Very dramatic scene. I liked it, okay? But basically, so far, all more or less the same idea. Now you get into blah, blah, blah. First of all, don't ever write this. Very, very, very casual. This is usually for spoken English. 
What does it mean? It also means and so on, but because the conversation is not interesting. Okay? My friend uh, Harry, he came over to my house and he started telling me about his kids, blah, blah, blah. And then we went out to watch the hockey game at the bar. Why did I put blah, blah, blah after his kids? Because I don't care. I don't have kids. It's not interesting for me. So uh, here's the story. I'm making it very short because it's not really interesting, right? So he started talking about his kids, blah, blah, blah. Time passed by and so on. His kids, his life, his toys, his kids' toys. I don't know. I don't have kids again, remember? Blah, blah, blah. And then the important part, we went to watch the hockey game. So I'm skipping all the not interesting conversation by putting in blah, blah, blah. But sometimes we use the word blah only one not three. Here, three means and so on. One has a very different meaning. Blah. You see how I'm saying it? Blah. How do you feel today? Blah. Not so good. How is the steak? Blah. Means not much flavor, a little bit bland. <clears throat> How's the weather? Blah. It's like raining and cold and not so nice. So basically, anytime you want to say something negative about something, just say blah. But you have to say it like this, blah. It's like, it's like coming out of your mouth. You don't want it to, but it has to come out, right? That's why it, it doesn't feel good, right? It's almost like a sickness. So there we have it. And so on, etc. dot, 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 especially for writing, blah, 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 to skip the not interesting part, and blah. Now, I hope that this lesson wasn't blah, but that's up to you to decide. If you want to practice a little bit more on these things, go to ingvid.com. There's a quiz there. If you're watching on YouTube, A, subscribe to my channel. B, go to ingvid.com and practice these things. And lastly, if you have any questions, write them in the comments section and then I will get back to you. Okay? Thank you very much. See you later.